Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarvetGeorgeStudent.com. I'm back with another video. Well, this time around, I'm going to have a shave with a brand new razor. The Edwin Jagger Barley Handled Three-Piece Safety Razor. Isn't that beautiful? It has a handle that they call the Barley Handled Razor. It has a micro knurling on it. Very, very tight and it has this beautiful shine and luster to it. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Also offers a very, very sure grip uh, when your hands are wet and slick. Very, very nice. Now, this is similar in size to the classic Edwin Jagger DE89L that I have here in this hand. And you can see that they're about the same length, although the 89L uh, is a little bit heavier than the barley handled razor. Uh, you know what? Let's do an official razor weigh in and we'll find out how they compare. Okay, so first up is going to be the Edwin Jagger DE89L, and that weighs 74.4 grams, which translates into 2.62 ounces. Okay, next up is the Edwin Jagger Barley Handled Razor. And that weighs 67.5 grams. And that translates into 2.38 ounces. Okay, so as you saw from the results, the Barley Handled Razor is a little bit lighter. And that will affect the shave to a certain extent. I found that... Uh, even though the Edwin Jagger has the same razor head on all their handles, whether the handle is long or short, light or a little heavier, it does give you a slightly different shave. So that's what we're looking for uh, here in this shave, see how this stacks up against some of the other Edwin Jagger razors that I have in my collection. So really looking forward to shaving with the Edwin Jagger Barley Handled Razor. My thanks to Obi. Uh, up on the shavenook.com uh, wet shaving form. Uh, he bought this new, had no uh, need for it, and uh, sold it online to me. Uh, and I just want to thank him uh, very, very much. And if you're looking for a wet shaving form to join, check out shavenook.com. Really friendly group of wet shavers up there. All right, so uh, we're going to kick off this shave with a Trader Joe's Moisturizing Cream Shave. We're not gonna use this as my main shaving lubricant. We're gonna use this as a pre-shave. That's right, you can use this as a pre-shave. So I'm gonna wet the face, apply a little bit, massage it in, and give myself that extra uh, layer of slickness that this will provide. So that's kind of different. It's honey and mango uh, with aloe vera and vitamin E. Looking forward to that. Uh, my uh, shaving soap of choice today is gonna to be Mitchell's Wool Fat. Uh, looking forward to that. I have some hot water on top of the puck warming it up right now. I'm going to use my DS Cosmetics Green Handled Synthetic Shaving Brush. We're going to be using a Treat Platinum Razor Blade. Boy, I bought a boatload of these from Connaught Shaving because the pound to dollar was in my favor. So I got a really good price on about 300 of these things. So believe me, I can burn through these and <laughs> really not feel that uh, it's making a dent in my razor collection. So we're gonna use that one. Uh, we're gonna finish it off with my uh, Osma Allen Block and also an old favorite, the Clubman Virgin Isle Bay Rum Aftershave. Boy, I love this stuff. This has got a great Bay Rum scent. However, I haven't compared it to others out there. So if you know of one that is similar or even better than this, let me know. I'd like to get it and I'd like to compare it to this. And for my post-shave lotion, we're going to use something new. Every Man Jack. This is fragrance-free post-shave balm for sensitive skin. We're going to use it upstairs and maybe a little bit on my face as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. All right. I got some good beard growth going here. So let's wet the face and let's get to the shave.
Okay, you can see really nice blade balance and alignment. Really, really nice. Spot right on the money. All right, so we're gonna heat this up in some hot water from the tap. Let's roll in my sink. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very mild. Very, very mild. Although I think because I have such a slick pre-shaven lather, that really helps. missing that hollow there a little bit. There we go. Okay. It is very lightweight. I mean, far lighter than what I've been using lately. But it seems to have a nice efficiency. It's lightweight, seems to be maneuverable. Um, the weight is affecting the shave. Just that little difference from the DE89 is affecting the shave a little bit. Let's see how many passes we're gonna need. That's pass one done, let's rinse. Well, in all honesty, that wasn't a bad first pass. I think it probably could have been better, really, to be honest with you, but, Could be a combination of things, but you know, really, maybe a blade that uh, a little sharper would have made a difference. These treats are nice. They're not overly sharp, they're not overly mild. So um, I, think the, I think it was a good first pass, probably on par with a lot of other things. Could have been a little better, really, seriously, could have been a little bit better. And I think I do miss that added weight that the DE89 has. And I've been using uh, the Vikings Blade Emperor uh, adjustable razor, which is has beautiful weight and heft. So I've gravitated towards razors that are a little bit, uh, a little more, that have a little more heft, a little more um, weight to them. But this is the second pass. This will really tell the tale. You need to take, when you do a wet shave, you need to do uh, two to three passes, maybe even one pass if you're a beginner, but usually uh, two to three passes take the beard down in stages. So it's not a bad thing that it didn't take it down a lot. Uh, it's uh, just probably going to need a third pass, which is perfectly fine. Here we go with the second pass, east to west across the grave. Okay, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. This will tell us how this razor is doing. Well, I'm definitely going to need a third pass. No doubt about it. I can knock this down. In all honesty, if I wanted to go to the office, I'd probably be good to go to the office, really. But I really do think a third pass would give me a, a, a better shave. Right now, I'm, I've got a darn fine shave. I think one more pass will really pay big dividends. And well, the great thing about doing the wet shave is that with this razor, you can use a variety of blades. So I'm sure, excuse me, I'm sure that using this razor with uh, other blades, blades that are a little sharper, blades that are a little milder, I'll be able to tune it a little bit better. But the Creed blade has been a terrific blade so far in this shave. And really, you know, knock wood, 
no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. And that's a big plus. So, you know, if you're a beginner wet shaver, uh, this really is a very good razor to start with if you, if you want to go uh, get a three-piece razor. All right, uh, we're going to go uh, south to north against the grain. Yeah, that little bit's really going to help. Really going to help. I'm just going to check my chin here. You know what? It did a really nice job on the chin. It really did. Maybe just a little bit there. But boy, that did a nice job on the chin. I'm just going to just do a little buffing. Okay, that's got it. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Very nice, wow. Certainly needed the third pass, but that's okay. That's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, as I say, you wanna take the beard down in the stages. So whether you do two passes or three passes, depending on the aggressiveness of the razor and the sharpness of the blade, it doesn't really matter. It's just that uh, doing that third pass, really nice, comfortable shave. Smooth, smooth and close, nice efficiency on it. We're going to go ahead and do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. All right, here's my warm water rinse. All right, a lot of slickness that I had to get off of there. The Trader Joe's Moisturizing Cream Shave and the Mitchell's Wolf Fat really did their job in giving me a lot of slickness on the shave. You might want to give those two a try. Uh, here's my cold water rinse. Nice. Very, very nice. Wow. That's terrific. Boy, that's terrific. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me. Nice. Wow. Very nice. Nice, nice shave. All right. This will uh, this will tell the tale here. The Osma Allen Block. Uh, boy, I love these. These are cut from a solid, a larger solid piece of uh, alum. And uh, they actually machine it down and they sand it so when you get it, it's nice and smooth all the way around. So, uh, wetting it in the water really builds on that smoothness. So, here we go. We're going to rinse it under some cold water here, run it under some cold water, and see what kind of feedback we get. Smooth as ice. Oh, no stinging at all, no zinging. Someone asked me, uh, one of my uh, viewers commented, what's, I know what stinging is, what's zinging? And I tried to answer him, and zinging is just a small, minute little sting. It's just like a, like, like, like that. It's just like a, like a little pop, like a little, just a little, like a little pinpoint. But just very, very small, very brief. That's what it is. Where stinging is kind of a prolonged, like, ah, it just lasts a millisecond, if that. Okay, so, uh, you know, pat this dry, dry it out. Got my dish right here, gonna put it in there and let it air out, and I'll be ready for tomorrow morning's shave. All right, uh, boy, this has been great so far. Uh, let me uh, let me mop up a little bit here, because I'm, like I'm like a hippo at a water hole sometimes when I'm doing this, and uh, let that set up. We'll be back to, uh, do some more post shave and talk about this razor. Okay, hang in there with me. Okay, again, the great thing about synthetic brushes, look, it's nearly dry. All I do is rinse, again, <laughs> I love synthetic brushes. Uh, I just rinse it, uh, give it a gentle ring, and then some shakes. Now, if these hairs are kind of clumping and bunched up together, I just go ahead and rinse it again, uh, again, just rinse it again, Give it a few more shakes, 
you know, just give it a gentle patting there. And then everything ends up like that. So it might be, you know, you might have to do it more than once underneath the tap, but it cleans up really very easily. And they dry out quickly. And, you know, I mean, it's nearly dry. I don't feel much moisture on my hand here at all. It's like 98% dry. And then uh, this will fit on my stand this way, on my Admiral uh, razor and brush stand. Boy, isn't that a beautiful razor and brush stand? Stainless steel. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. All right, Bay Rum from Clubman. Put a little bit in there. Love this stuff. Very nice. All right, every man jack for upstairs and maybe a little bit. On the, shed, on, the, uh, on the face here, we'll see. Oh boy, that's really, that's, that will really give you a lot of moisture. Wow, that is, that's probably too much, really. You only need a little bit. Only a little bit, yeah, that's, that's, wow, that's, <laughs> that's, yeah. You only need a little bit, compared to the Lubriderm, you only need a little bit of this stuff. That really does moisturize, and I'm gonna put, because it's fragrance free. Okay, great shave, really, really nice shave. Uh, mild, yet efficient. Uh, the great Edwin Jagger razor head on it. And again, it's the same razor head that comes on every Edwin Jagger razor, regardless of the handle design. And uh, whether the handle is long, short, heavy, light, uh, it's going to, uh, give you a slightly different result when you shave uh, with it. And the result of this was a nice shave. It's great for sensitive to normal skin, and it is lightweight. Now, in all honesty, I prefer a razor with a little more weight and heft. That's just me. Uh, certainly, uh, I would prefer, uh, the, I prefer the weight on the DE89L, just holding it in my hand here. That extra weight uh, really makes a significant difference uh, for me. However, um, you know what? If you like a razor that doesn't have all that weight and heft, this would be a very, very good choice for you. Again, it's a uh, it's a nice uh, um, mild uh, shave. It is efficient. I think the efficiency for me could have been a little better. Really, could have been a little bit better. Um, but nonetheless, I got a really, really nice result. Had to do three passes, that's really a non-issue. Two to three passes, you'll get a, a, a good shave with it. Also, uh, I've used this previously with Derby Premium Blades, and I think in two passes with that blade, I got a closer result than I did with the tree blade. That's not to say the tree blade is bad, they're both you know, well, that's to say that Derby Premium, a little bit better in this razor. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll say that. But still, the Treat Platinum still gave me a really smooth result in this razor. And really, you know, here's the bottom line. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. That is worth the price of admission right there. Uh, you know, a little bit on the light side when it comes to weight, but boy, this handle is absolutely gorgeous. And it does give you a little more maneuverability and handling, uh, especially underneath the nose, the upper lip, really, it is able to move around and get into those tight areas very easily. So the light handle, you know, there is some benefit there. But overall, a really, really nice razor and one I'm happy to have in my collection. It's probably gonna take me, um, I would say, a few more shaves to really become familiar with it and to adjust the angle uh, minutely in order to increase the efficiency. That's what I found with the Edwin Jagger razor. When you hit that sweet spot, boy, it really does up the efficiency of the razor. So that's what I'm looking at uh, with this. I know that the shorter handled uh, razors, let me, let me show you one. Uh, like this Edwin Jagger Ebony razor with the rubberized handle. See how much shorter it is? This short handle razor, uh, right out of the box, gave me a more efficient shave 
than the DE89L. However, after using this and then coming back to the DE89L, I found that my shaves with this improved. So uh, my shaves with this are gonna improve as well. So that's what I'm saying. You'll get a great shave from an Edwin Jagger razor uh, and you get to pick your handle, uh, the length, the, uh, the weight, that sort of thing. So this was really a nice, nice shave, a nice three pass shave. Uh, with a sharper blade, like a feather, ooh, look out, uh, Derby Premium, uh, some of the blades that are a bit sharper, perhaps even the Astra I think is a little sharper than the Treat, it's going to up the efficiency a little bit. So the Edwin Jagger Barley Handled 3-Piece Razor along with the Treat Blade is a really good starting point for somebody who wants to embark on a wet shaving adventure and you want a 3-Piece Razor. This would be a very, very good choice. Again, beautiful luster and shine to the handle, micro knurling, a little more lightweight than most razors, but that could add to the maneuverability depending on what your tastes are. Overall, a really nice shave with it. All right, hey, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, please share, please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Do you have this Edwin Jagger Barley Handled Razor? Do you have any other Edwin Jagger Razors that you'd like to tell me about? They really do make a nice razor. Uh, please visit my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.